I haven't seen you in a while. I have a new feature to show you today. This is Crypto Matte. Yes, out of the blue it came up and now it's Blender 2.8. We are just a few weeks away from the beta, but yeah, it's good to see that there's still hope for new, new, new features, just in case 2.8 wasn't enough. So if you're familiar with the concept, basically um, Crypto Matte is a way to create um, like uh, masks or mats from a image automatically. So in, for example, in this image, in this render, a crypto band pass will give you um, the ability to have to select different objects and have like different colors that you can use for compositing. And it's a standard, so it's, it's used also in different uh, software. So it would help with their interoperability with other software. So you can blend, render in Blender and then export from there using Cycles. For, for the time being, it's implemented only on Cycles. And um, if you are familiar with compositing in Blender, the way to make masks before was, or now, I mean, still there, it's just to select an object, for example, then in the relations, you set a pass index, a number manually by hand, and then with this number, uh, you add a node in the compositor to convert it. So it was a bit of uh, some, <laughs> some work to do there. And also if the object was linked, you couldn't assign it if it was a dupli, for example. So this is uh, much, much better. It's sort of also automatic. So let's see how it works. Basically I have here uh, three objects and I have a bunch of materials. To enable the pass, you have to enable it in the view layer settings, passes, and you have to be in cycles. By the way, have you seen this awesome, nice, uh, here vertical tab, isn't it pretty? Okay, cycles. Um, passes, then in passes there is a, a sub panel down here that it shows crypto mat. So the um, options that you want to change are mainly these three ones, object, material, and asset. They are basically enabling one of these, um, these, these passes. So object will give you uh, IDs per, per object, material per material, and asset, it's Blender just still doesn't have the concept of asset, but it's a terminology used by uh, CryptoMat itself, so it's, it's compatible with other softwares. But basically it means like a collection or like an object that share a patent. You can read the, the tooltip there just to, to be familiar what it does. Um, so yeah, for example, if you just enable object and then you render, um, you will see that if you render, it's all nice and dandy. Then in the compositor, this is a compositing step that you have to do. You'll see that the uh, render layer, the view layer now has uh, three outputs for crypto. If you try to see what, what comes out of this, you won't see anything, it will see like a, just a line. But if you use the magic node, let's search for crypto. There you go. If you search for crypto mat, then you have this awesome node that you need to connect the three entries here with the weird name, and then you will see the output. So um, you won't see much at the beginning, especially if you don't connect the image, but um, it's, it's the, um, the pick output that is the fun one because it allows you, like the name says it, to pick or select which objects you want to make a mask out of. So for example, if I want the cube, I can just click and add and then select the cube. And then if I see my image output, it's just the cube instead of being like the whole thing. And the mat output is gonna show up, uh, show a black and white image uh, with that. And from here I can, for example, add the monkey, like I can remove the cube and I can add the sphere. So that way I have these two and the mat and this, I can use it for anything. Basically this black and white, I can use it for anything. If I want to, for example, change the um, the hue of those um, of those objects. I just use it as a mat. I use the mat as an output as a factor for the hue correct, and then I can just change anything. I can lower the saturation, for example, or just change the hue like I was doing before. Isn't it amazing? So it's all automatic, and the same uh, when you enable the uh, material pass. So for example, you know, material, and then you see here now this. Uh, options show up here. So you just need another node and then just connect these three. So the UI could still use some work. So, so you don't have to do like um, add, click, add, and manually have to do it. So it could be easier. It could show up 
on like a mouse over maybe the name. Uh, there is a lot of improvement to be done. And this also works when you are in the image UV image editor, by the way. I'm going to show you with a better file. This splash screen from Poke Studio, pretty nice. Do you remember this guy from uh, this, from Blender 277? Which, by the way, you can get from Blender.org for download. Um, so yeah, if you look at the um, pick output of the crypto mat for this, you have all the objects here, which makes it a bit more fun to see. Then you can pick the objects, and then here, uh, for example, I have the viewer node, and I have the render result, sorry. So this is what I'm doing, what I'm viewing here. I can just select a few objects, and then they will show up there. This is so nice, amazing. So this feature, it's been added uh, just a few weeks ago, and it's part of Blender 2.8 and Master, the, the version of Blender 270, like the one that looks like 279, but has a, a few features from cycles and improvements. And you can download them from the same place we always do, from builder.blender.org, download. Here, just download Blender 2.8, or the official one also should have it but remember they're behind. So yes, thank you, Tangent Animation. This is, this feature has come from a studio, from people have come from the studio, of course, but the uh, Tangent Animation, I don't know if you remember the, the, the next gen film. Have you watched it already? It's on Netflix. It's the first full feature Netflix film made entirely with Blender. So they are amazing. They're not only like sponsors from the CodeQuest, but also contribute code. They are amazing. So yes, go enjoy the files. Um, the, you can try the same with the files, with your own files or with uh, by downloading. If you want to have the same exact uh, version, you can use the 277 file from here. If you want to read more, you can check the wiki. There is the, the work in progress notes. It's not going to be the, the final ones, but from here you can read a bit more, how to uh, work with it, how to enable and what to expect. Plus all the awesome features from Cycles and from everything that is getting 2.70 to 2.8. It's just insane. If you want to keep this development happening, you can join the new Blender Development Fund and join 387 people, amazing people that are making their lives better by joining and by contributing to Blender. So yeah, go play with it test it, enjoy it. There is a new blog post uh, the, from last week if you want to check it out. And uh, the Blender, and in other news, the Blender Common Conference videos are being uploaded. So yeah, cool. so many things going on. I will see you again in the next uh, video. Ciao.